that to me, pin guys. That makes you not have to use your arm power to keep the guy down. Whenever you can, you get a good knee pin, split between his legs, you're going to put that knee in the cage hole. Okay, and we'll get scraped up. Be a baby later. Okay, and see where he is now? I'm going to do stuff like deep hit him with this. Knee and the liver here, which gave him a little space to get to his chin, and now it's the same as this. Now, you don't have to let go. Dang, 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 dang. He's going to try to see his when he's sleeping. And I'm going to get my two, three, four hits. Okay. Stipe did this. The guy who did it to Stipe in the first fight. I've been pitching this for years. It makes up the difference in wrestling. A three month wrestling cap doesn't make up a lifetime of wrestling difference. Stipe did this, or Nagano did this against Stipe in the first fight. You see him do that in. But you don't have to dive away right away. You can get me. I didn't do the other side of his So we're in here. Yeah. Tight overhook again. Guys, don't be lazy. I'm going to shove to my back. Tight overhook. Now we're in here. So now we're playing knee mounting the game. He's not in a good position because I'm on the inside. So get it, get the knee kind of inside. Oh, much better. Okay. I'm going to knee him, hit him, something to open up. Gets that chin here, a great angle. Try and get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Kick on the way up. Maybe liver or head is right there, right? Mm. So you got to be able to fight both stances because you don't know which side you're going to get hit. Okay, yeah, the head twist, you see, it's, it's helpful. I can even do this half guard, suck you in tight to my chest, and sweep you with the head twist from half guard to top. Okay? Yeah. It's nasty. You don't mean in training you gotta go snap like it's some Ninja 4 domination movie. But I can get it and go like this. Okay? So in a street fight, just lay in their head. Yeah, I mean, go fast. But especially against the cage, you can also, especially if you're small, yeah, I can just do this, or I can get the kick. So when you're really tired MMA fighters, grapplers learn to kick off. Helps so I can be, it's usually, get my breath, now hit the guy first. That's why learning, get over there. Okay. okay, so can I just take you down like that? Yes or no? Yes. No, come on. Be real. Can I just take you down like this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Don't let me take it on. Almost. Oh. Okay. But it was nowhere if I didn't hit him. Okay. Let's watch it. I just kind of bailed on it. I should have. So over here. If I just try a simple back heel trip on him, he's too low in the line. He's too, his hips are blowing. It's going to be a hard one to get on. Okay, but if I crack away here, yeah, I have him. Okay, that time I would have him. Okay, close. But, if I hit here to where guys are tight, <laughs> yeah, it's just structural where you want me. So go ahead and fight me and get him up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, Nasty. Can that look energy efficient? All from this. If you can't hit with power with this, you don't have any. This changes everything. I mean, it, it really does. You don't think it, it really does. Because it was a microsecond of him in strong to this. He went from this to this. And in the microsecond I hit him and he went to this, that's when it boom, it was just momentum. It was, I mean, that was pure energy efficiency. Okay.